This is Pedro Predictions. In this video, I will be giving my predictions on Group E, Spain. Under Luis Enrique, they look very good. They look confident. And Luis Enrique has put a lot of faith into players. Even though they had a slow start to the last Euros 2020 in the group stage, he maintained those players like he still put trust in them and it paid off because they got to the semi-finals and only missed out on the finals in the penalty shootout and if anything this will create more confidence in the squad more cohesion Luis Enrique made a bold statement of not including any Real Madrid players in the last Euro 2020 and he chose players from a lesser type of club like goalkeeper Unai Simon who has really cemented his place as first choice goalkeeper Paul Torres, Oya Zabal Dani Olmo, Sorabia, who have all proven to be really good additions to the squad. Spain have got incredible youngsters coming through like Pedri, Ferran Torres, Eric Garcia, who have cemented themselves in the squad. Even with such a new, refreshing looking Spanish squad, you've still got the highly experienced and influential Busquets and Jordi Alba, who can give the other players that bit of wisdom. Yes, this Germany squad is not as strong as it has been in the past, but their midfield is still very strong with Julian Brandt and Gundogan playing at their best ever. Musiala seems to be getting better game by game and you've got highly influential and experienced midfielders like Kimmich and Müller and of course you've got Müller's great jokes. Even though Germany doesn't really have a genuine number nine, they're not struggling for goals as Leroy Sané and Gnabry have scored many goals for the team. And even Werner uh, is looking good again at Leipzig. Germany's weakest area of the field is probably in their defence as a lot of the time Rudiger has to bail out the defence and make that last man challenge. And their flanks are often left open as their fullbacks like to push up a lot, but they don't do their defensive duties as often. However, a fullback like Henrichs does do those defensive duties often and will come back when needed. Even though it's only been 13 games under their great manager Hans Flick, he currently has the highest win percentage of any German manager ever. So maybe there is good things to come from Germany under him. Japan, they have such a yo-yo record within the World Cup. However, this Japanese squad is quite strong and a lot of their players play within European countries, especially in Germany and the UK, so they're used to that quick style of football. More information can be found about the Japanese national team in my video about Asia's chances this World Cup. Costa Rica. They went undefeated in their last seven World Cup qualifiers. So they're showing that when under pressure or when they need results, they will grind out those results. And they showed this in the playoff as well against New Zealand where they scored early on and then were just defensively solid thereafter. Speaking of defensively solid, Costa Rica in the final round of the CONCACAF qualifiers only conceded eight goals within 14 matches. Costa Rica play a very defense-minded football, they stay very compact, they don't even go for that many opportunities, and they're actually proving very good at set pieces as most of their goals come from set pieces. However, to get set pieces, the team needs to create chances, and I don't know whether Costa Rica will be able to create chances against teams like Spain and Germany that will dominate them in all departments of the field, and are very clinical in front of goal. However, this Costa Rican squad has shown they can compete against the best as a lot of them were in that World Cup in 2014 where they topped their group of death. Oh, such beautiful results in that group. With the odds so heavily against Costa Rica, can Lightning strike twice and can Costa Rica make it out of this group of death again? Considering all the factors mentioned, my predicted standings for Group E is Spain topping the group in first, Germany coming in second reaching the knockout stage, Japan in third and Costa Rica in fourth at bottom. Yes, this is looking very cliche, but I do think this will be the case as we saw in the last World Cup in 2018 where they were heavyweights against lesser nations. And the heavyweights did qualify for the knockout stage in such a skewed group. And this is another skewed group. However, though, I do see this group having a lot of goals, surprisingly or not, because all of these nations have shown their defensive weaknesses. And Spain above Germany, I feel like Spain are just more defensively sound than Germany at the moment. There you have my predictions on a cliche looking groupie, or do you disagree? Do you think Japan could surprise? Do you think Costa Rica could surprise again? 
And as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Petro predictions.